Okay. Start up here. Let's see if this authorizes. Hey guys, it's Ryzen. And this is Zero. And welcome back to Mega Man. Um. X5. X5, yeah. So, we're gonna go to the tidal wave stage. Um, my chat is broken right now. So, I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> you go to, go to tidal wave. Yeah, I had to refresh my screen because your video wasn't loading. Oh. Won't you give me this not responding bullcrap? That's weird. Still not. Unauthorized for some reason. Are you good? Uh. I had to close down at the internet browser. Fourth armor. It's got to load back up again. Right. I guess I'll hop into it after this stage. You gotta go through this. So we gotta get. Yep. Um, the armor upgrade is near the end. We need. We need hey, a, I saved a guy. weapon. And then I don't think we can get... Unfortunately, I think we have to come back here later. Oh, you know what you... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, you know, you forgot to change the control scheme, but it's there. No, I changed it. I was using square to shoot, that's why. Fucking armor. Unfortunately. Okay, oh, let go of me! I'm gonna mess with this while you do that. Stop hovering. I'm attempting to fix no! the chat, so just give me time. I see you, Zero. I like X5 is way better than X6. <laughs> oh, the video still ain't loading up. Oh, what am I doing? Got it. First person's done. You talk about network error.
<sighs> All right. My internet is not working properly. So how's it going on your end? Are you there? This is weird. I hear nobody. Yeah, I got it. Oh, huh. that's why I heard nobody, because he was a ways away. I don't need the Black Zero code X6. I'm pretty good at X6. It's probably one of the ones I'm better at, frankly. That's because it kind of forces you to be. Hmm. Third time's a charm. Let's see if I could actually get into it now. Yeah, I fixed it. I changed it to a thing. At least in theory. Should be good. See if that posts. Yeah, it's there. Okay. It went away because hey, I had to. Popping. I had to link it. Oh. To the other streams, the other channels, the scenes, whatever. Same thing. Okay. <sighs> so you have to get like to the end of the stage, basically. Right. I think. And the armor is. the very end of the sunken ship area. There's a capsule hiding behind a wall. So at the end of this section here. Not up above, up above is the hard tank. with network error? Why you give, give me network error? That's fine, it doesn't really matter. My stream's actually, like, my bit rate's actually like 6,000. Yeah, you gotta use the Duff McWhalen weapon, or Tidal Wave weapon. You do a charge shot on it. It's the ice thing, I think. Square. Huh. I don't know why that's the only thing that works when there are other <laughs> things that clearly hit it. Oh, good. It's just arbitrary to make you go through it twice. So according to my bitrate, we can actually up the quality of the stream, by the way. Well, let's see if I can even get your... Th video to load up but it is well that's a, that's on your end not on my end but I don't think we're, I don't think I'm going to it's fine at 720 you can't even see dr. light in there on the stream <laughs> not enough FPS Oh, I see this little circle of doom on a black screen for my side. Yeah, that happens if you if your internet is acting slow. I don't understand why it would be acting slow. Well, you're you're also downloading a SharePlay, so downloading a SharePlay plus a video, it, it, it takes a toll sometimes. I'd say I've never had a problem before. Been doing this how many years? Yeah, now? I know it does. It does nothing. The guy armor is terrible. But you need it to get certain. Oh, I can see tanks. the chat, but not the video. Well, I guess I could just watch the chat. That makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, I don't really need to see the video. Uh, leave. We can't get anything else. Alright. Leave and then re enter this stage with the Falcon armor. Oh, you should equip things on the Falcon armor. Well, obviously. 
equip the super recover so we can fill up the energy tank. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I am really freaking tired after streaming for seven hours yesterday. Look, I have a persona problem, okay? <laughs> it's not my fault. Actually, no. Kind is. It's my favorite game, okay? Like, of all time. And I've got to hang out with Haru. I mean, by definition, I have to play. Nah. She's literally so my favorite character. Cover. Like, ever. <laughs> What do you think? Jump or qu the quick charge? Uh, jumper is gonna want, and then you got what the ultimate buster? Oh, the super recover for now, right? Yeah, we want that for the yeah. the tank first, and then we'll get rid of it for like ultimate buster or quick charge, whichever. Probably, yeah, probably so ultimate buster. Duff McGallan, you gotta go back. Go back where? The, the oh, stage Duff you Yeah, you have to do it again. And pick the falcon armor. Yep, because you have to fly at that spike section. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta beat this guy two more times again. No, this is the last time we're, we're coming here. No, I'm talking about I gotta beat this yeah, form I again, know. and then he's I, got another form. I, I like this stage, but I don't like doing it three times. If you're gonna do a stage like this, that's cool. It's a nice change of pace, but oh man, have no it, more super buster. Have it um. Oh right, yeah, that's the one downside of the Falcon armor, is the charge shot is terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. It is strong, but it's like a sniper shot. It does have oh, more. Yeah, it's strong. It does, yeah, it is strong. It has more, like, range than you think. What? Yeah, you can fly infinitely and do damage, dude. The Falcon Armor is ludicrously overpowered in this game. It's really good. Yeah, you can you can move. Like, literally. It's, it's ridiculous. You can, like, fly into enemies and stuff. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy good. You can't dash in midair because you can fly apparently. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't dash in midair. This, it'd be redundant. Yeah, ultimate buster is good for Falcon armor. We will use it. It is very good for the Falcon armor. In X6, I think you fall down randomly. Well, not well, randomly, that one I just but fell you, down. Like, you, like, run out of time. I don't... I think it's infinite in uh, X5. You would think that, right? Or maybe it's just a lot longer. Or maybe... No, I think what it is in X6 is they removed it entirely. Yeah. So you can fly for a pretty good amount of time in this one. Yeah, it has an air dash that deals damage, but you take damage, which is dumb. We'll be using the Falcon armor until we get the ultimate armor. Then the ultimate armor is just too damn good not to use. Yep. It'll basically trivialize the last, like, two stages. really good. Here, I'm gonna switch this to mine. Yeah, it's, it's working good. Yeah, I know. That's the excuse they give you. Which, fair enough. 
Ilya is better in X6 than she is in X5. She doesn't interrupt you all the time. I don't know. I don't mind X5. I don't mind any of them other than X7, really. X7 is just flat out a bad game. It's not, like, unplayably bad, but it is bad. I mean, it's not like, say, an unlimited saga that's just painful to play. You can, you can manage. Oh man, I'm about to die. Yeah, I see this. It might be okay. No! <laughs> so do you said that. Do I stream tomorrow? Yeah, I always stream on Thursdays. Well, normally it's because of me with... Actually, not. You always stream whenever you want. Never mind. Every time you're not there around, I've just been streaming Persona. But the plan is to do X6 tomorrow. Or start X6. Yep. Probably the Zero playthrough, because Zero is infinitely easier in X... X6. I don't know, I haven't actually decided yet. Alright, good luck. Good luck. Roll well. I don't- I wonder- can you like- I wonder if you can fly into him and do damage like that. No. I mean, you can, but it, it's so little. It's weak. It's not really designed for that. Come on, bottom one, just go away already. Thank you. Yeah, once you get rid of the, the bottom half, it's not too bad. Yeah, that's the trick. You, like, jump towards it, and then run back. It's not that hard of a boss, once you figure it out, <sighs> the, the trick. It shouldn't take us that long to collect everything. Hopefully not. And it won't take us that long to go through the end stages. We'll probably just use the uh, the time stopper for the lasers this time. It's basically identical with Zero. There's really no advantage or disadvantage Zero has there. I mean, the double jump actually probably makes... Honestly, the double jump probably makes it harder. Oh my god, double tap X, come on! I think the double jump actually makes it harder to do the laser section. So, you know. You can beat the laser section with zero, you can beat it with X. No reason to do that again. Oh, come on. Wow, terrible. Can Take you? over, man. I'm not good with flying around, man. That's ludicrously overpowered. Nah, go ahead. Ludicrously overpower this part. Alright, listen. Stop trying to show off and taking no damage, right? That's what you get. Fucking show off. <laughs> show off, man. Yes, you were, because you know damn well you were just trying to get through it. Be like, oh, well, look who took no damage doing it. Oh, I was going to say shit, dude. I'm just trying to go through this as quickly as possible. 
If you're trying to go through as quickly as possible, you'd take hits. Okay. Whatever, dude. You know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, don't stay up there. Alright, good. Ah, oh, no. The guy's like, ooh. He's flying. Guess I'm screwed now. Wow. Wow what? Uh, Can't believe I that. Oh my god. There's the heart piece. Yeah, I know. I know it's there. I'm just a little concerned. Yeah, I would have been so. I think that's it. Yeah, you can, but Jumper is more useful in the long run. For X, anyway. Because X has problems jumping over Sigma in the final fight, so... Uh, because he doesn't have a double jump. So Jumper compensates for that. I think Jumper is a lot better for X than, than Speedster. Speedster is really good for Zero, though. I guess we should get... The, uh... Yeah, okay. So we'll go to Dark Dizzy, a.k.a. Necrobat, I think. I think it's this guy, yeah. Falcon Armor. Now remember, when you're on the little floating platform thing, don't try and rely on your flying. Because I remember the last time we did that, we died so many times. Oh, I'm going to rely on everything. Ah! Watch over the constellations. Oh, not today, son! Oh, God, he got me today. <laughs> that was a nice Oh. oh. Goddamn constellation. Wow. I got so I'm, lucky. I'm that guy. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, man. Bam! Yeah. You, you think I'm just gonna, like fall for that again, do you? Not today, game! That's right. Bam! Oh, God. I have an itch right on my head. It's annoying. It's no good. Alright. Let's not fall for that again. Oh! Well, apparently if we had Speedster, we could do this entire part in one flight. Yeah, I know you can. But it doesn't really... I mean, it's useful if you want to go super fast, but it's not, it's not necessary. Now, I think we already got the heart piece here, I think. Yeah. Is there a way to check to see how many heart pieces we have? No, but this is the one with the gravity heart piece. Oh, yeah, 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 we got this. That's the energy tank, I think, right? Yeah, okay. So we got both energy tanks. We still need the EX tank. Which I guess we might as well pick up. No, we, we, we'll pick it up later. It's not too bad. So we wanted to really come here for... Let's see, it's at the end of the stage. Of course. Oh no, we already got this one. This was the the one piece you used with that stupid thing. Yeah, the little So we're done. Targeting system, yeah. yeah. So the next one is the armor upgrade. It's in the skiver, which I think is Pegasus. I know exactly where it is. Mm -hmm. We already got the other things, I think. Yeah, we have all of the energy tanks. The heart piece here, I think, was the elevator. 
Yeah. Yeah, we got the heart piece here. And the weapon tank was here, too. Mm-hmm. So he's this guy. He's the falcon armor. I think you have to have the falcon armor. Yeah, because that's that part where that small diagonal elevator. Oh. I don't know. I mean, it's about what, you know. Hey, maybe with the fourth armor we could actually stop that one bomb from blowing up. Oh, we shouldn't stop that one. That's really dumb. That, that should have counted. Takes a couple of hits because it's a weak shot. I guess. I guess you're not kidding. Yeah, nope, it's even with the and armor couldn't get it. I it's mean, it's, gotta it's be probably possible. possible. There's a trophy like for getting it. But, you know, I never even bothered getting that one. They do so little damage, like, what, who cares, really? I mean, really. I mean, I could, like, attack these guys, but why? I don't know. I like X5. But then again, I find X6 enjoyable at times, so. It just has major issues. All these games have major issues. Yeah, they all have their problems, but. X7 pretty much has nothing but problems. I mean, what, what does X7 do well? Part of the character switching. Mid stage. Yeah, this is the part where it's at. Yeah, I know. Replied uh, um, capturing or rescuing is really dumb. Fortunately, there's only two games that have that. Thank God. I mean, it's technically in this game too, but they don't count for anything. They're just like an extra health and life power up. Okay, so that takes care of that. Next up is Matrix, which we already got. Uh, and then Axel the Red is the last one. I know exactly where that is. Can we get his heart piece while we're at it? Yes. No, of course not. We need the Gaia armor. See, this is what this is what bothers me about X5. They do this where it's like, oh, here's a Gaia armor part. Oh, by the way, in order to get the heart piece on this stage, you need to go back with the Gaia armor. It's like, oh, thanks, thanks. It wouldn't be so bad if, like, you could equip part of the armor, you know what I mean? Like, in all the other X games, other than 6, which also does this garbage. But it's just, it's, it's dumb. Right. Hey, what was down there? I don't know, this... Can we not charge special weapons with this? Oh no. Ah, interesting. Hopefully that wasn't where we get the part at. And you need the guy armor anyway. Which you can't even oh. use special weapons. Oh wait, it's the guy armor that breaks at it. Yeah, it's the special charge shot with it. I know exactly where this thing is. Okay. Forgot I, to hold up. I, I did forget. I held up, but I held it up too late. 
Oh, I forgot that I can't fly all the way. <laughs> But this, the Falcon armor does completely trivialize this, by the way. Yeah. You can get this with zero. Uh, however, it requires insane jumping ability. Yep. I think, isn't that how we got it the first time? Was with zero? I think we did, yes, because I was insistent. <laughs> Only to realize we needed to come back As anyway. As always, your stubbornness come in. Armor. Oh, I got it. It took me like an hour. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's clearly not intended to get it. It's designed for the Falcon armor. Oh, thank God. Now, unfortunately, you can't equip any parts on the Gaia armor. Because, you know... Game hates you. I mean, that's really all it comes down to. Oh, the, game the game doesn't game hate you. you. Okay. The game creators might hate you, but not the game. Okay, so basically, we just need to get all the remaining heart pieces. We got the one in Dark Dizzy. That's this guy. We got this one's. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got the fire one. That's the lava. Mm-hmm. Grizzly slash. Grizzly slash. That one's easy. That one's this thing looks utterly ridiculous. It's like RoboCop. I actually kind of like the way it looks. Yeah. Yeah, well... Here's the problem with it. Well, first of all, this is really cool. This is why this thing wrecks bosses, by the way. Yeah, if only we were skilled enough to take it into the first of the stages. But for... unfortunately, this happened. I love that ninja stuff. I mean, I like it in... Yeah, that's the regular shot. It's not very good. It, hanging on the walls is much better in 6 because you have like a spread shot thing going on. You can't air dash. You do have a good like other dash there. Alia, why are you telling why me this? Why is she telling us this? I Oh my god, because we're entering with the Gaia armor. It's, it thinks we're a new character. Oh no. Yeah, that was a dash jump, by the way. I'm dead serious, that was my dash jump. Oh, that does Ah, uh, that thing is so big, it doesn't even... Wow. It's very good in situations like that. I mean, you can't use any special weapons, but to be fair, you don't really need them. No. With this thing, so... It's just the mobility is so bad on this thing that it... it, it yeah. I think we have to go further. No, it's up there. The way we have to do it is to get onto that other thing by a dash jump. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like a pain in the ass. Yep. Oh, you fucking Oh, but you went too far. Wow. You gotta leave the stage and come back and no. No, I don't have to leave the stage and just die. Huh. Got lucky. The reason this charges so fast, by the way, is because there is no mid shot. You have a small shot, and then basically the super duper shot, and that's it. That's it. I think it's to the, it to the left or right. I don't remember. It's got to be to the right. To the right. Yeah, because because if we can get you it can get zero, it with zero right. technically, but yeah. So zero has to come all the way over here. You can see why you need a ton of damage and vulnerability frames. It's ridiculous. 
I've seen it done, but it's mainly done on like tasses. Yeah, it's just a recolored plasma shot. Oh my god, what is wrong with you, Firefox? Uh, I don't know, man. Time. Oh, it doesn't really say. Tell us. Okay. Items. Let's see. So we got that. Squid Adler. We need the Gaia armor. Okay. So Squid Adler. Wait, isn't that the one with the vehicle? Yep. Well, we don't need to collect the things, though. Nope. We need to just push, make it through. Just make it through the guy. Just before Squid Adler's room. No, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was looking at something. I, I, what? No, I fall. I fucking hate this stage so much. Oh, I forgot. You have to shoot the You have thing. to shoot. Look. Who designed this level? I hope they never designed another level in the series. Wow. No. No, I'm not. Seriously, why would you put a hole when the announcer guy is still saying, Ready? Like, who thought this was a good idea? And I, I'd like... Let's make you have to go back in this stage with the Gaia armor. Sounds like a plan! The best stage in the game! This is one of the worst stages in the series. It is infamously bad. It's inexcusably bad. Pretty much this, the stupid donuts in X6, uh, the vehicle stage in X4, the vehicle stage in XF. Uh, let's see. Actually, virtually every stage in X7 is pretty poorly designed. Like, these are basically infamously known as, like, the worst stages in the series. For good reason! You see, the reason why this is so... I know you can dash through them, except if you do that, you lose control. This is the problem with dashing. I now can't control myself at all. That's why I don't like to do that. The other thing is, there is this really, really bizarre animation that happens when you land. You see, I hit the jump button there. Uh, the reason why he did not jump is because when you land, there is this weird, like, bounce down animation. That is not in any other part of this game. And it makes it so that you cannot jump after landing in a platformer where jumping is the most important thing you can do. They literally screwed up the jumping controls in a jumping game. That is how bad this stage is. Literally the controls do not work properly. It's only like a frame or two, but that's all it takes to royally screw you over. Is it really an 8? As I've never noticed it in 8. But to be fair, in 8, you don't really jump in the vehicle stage. At least you don't really need to. I mean, you can, but it's more of a, like, from the behind perspective, so the stage just works a lot better. I mean, this jumping thing was in X4 as well, but the, the jumps were less specific. And that's another problem with this stage, is that last section is too fast. Like, you can't reasonably react to it. So you basically have to get lucky. Or know exactly how to dash jump, basically. There is a way to do that, and that's about the only way you can consistently get through that at the end. You see, that's a dash jump. You have to oh. hit you have to hit R. You have to hit X slightly after R. If you hit X and R, 
like, you know, you would at any other point in this game, it doesn't work. You jump, then dash. No, you just dash. You do that. Oh. You, you die. That's what you do. So, this is just a horrible stage in multiple ways. I mean, the controls literally do not work properly. They're inconsistent with the rest of the game. The stage is too fast. The jumps are too specific for what they want you to do. You have to dash through that, but you have to dash jump. A mechanic that you never had to use in X4, which is part of the problem. See, I tried to do it, but you have to really react, and it's ridiculous. And unfortunately, uh, one thing that would have helped this stage is the ability to hold the fire button and have it rapid fire. Now, you can do that in this version of the game, but I don't know if it works with the vehicle stage, but normally you cannot do that. In the original release, you could not. Um which is a major problem because this stage is designed for it without the ability to do it, which is very, very strange. I, I don't know why you would do that. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is a bad stage in, like, so many damn ways. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know. See, there you go. See, that's what you have to do. You have to dash jump it. And good luck, frankly. It's, like, impossible to do that consistently unless you have played this game, like, a million times and have the button inputs down to complete muscle memory. Hey! I can actually see what you're doing now. Yeah. Yes, I know I just you can also mash my laptop. It, but good luck with that. I can't mash that fast, frankly. Even if I were using the square button to shoot, which I could do. I still couldn't mash. I still can't mash that fast. That's about as fast as I can mash without killing my hands, so. If I don't have to worry about doing any jumps or anything, I can mash pretty fast. <clears throat> also, this part of the stage is not good either. Because these switches, they don't give you enough time to open them before the other one resets. So it's really frustrating when you know what you're supposed to do and you can't because the timing is too strict. Especially with X. It's much easier with Zero, which sounds weird, but it is. And if you're playing on extreme yeah. difficulty, good luck, because there's another thing down here that zaps you as well. And quite frankly, the timing just does not match up. Because clearly they did not playtest these levels enough. You can glitch through those doors, but it's very specific. I've done it once. And not even on that one. I've done it on the one that have the spikes. Yep. It involves using uh, invulnerability frames in a very strange way. Yeah, it's uh, good fucking luck is right. <sighs> and this is not fun at all. See what happened there is the game decided to be a dick. Yes, even if it looks like, like, the, like, I explain it, like, um, even if they just start, like, tilting or shaking and they haven't actually started moving yet, that still counts as having to hit it another time, which is really mm. bad design. Like, that should be, in any other game, that would be the warning that you're running out of time, not that you're already out of time. I think the heart piece is up here. Yep. Right, yes.
What is the point in spikes that you have no means of, of... Like, the boxes are already here. There's no reason to have spikes, because you... I think the guy armor is the only thing that can destroy that. Of course, this is, like, impossible to do without taking damage, so... Thanks. I mean, it's possible, That's but it requires... Heart piece, right? Yeah. No. I don't think so. I don't know. I think we're done with this stage. At least we better be. Yeah, we are done with that stage. No, we gotta no. go to Izzy Glow stage of Dr. Firefly. There's the spikes at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait, don't we have to go back instead of Pegasus stage 2? We already did that one. Wasn't there something we could break at the bottom? What are you talking about? There was a stage yeah, where, Axel. um... Oh, you already went back in there and did that? No, we have to do that one. Alright. We gotta do Dr. Firefly first, though. We're almost done. We have two stages to go. Alright, calm down. Calm down. Well, unfortunately, though, we also have the X-Tank here, and I can't get it right away. Because I can't use it with this stupid armor. So, yay. Does this thing... Do these guys fill up your energy tanks? No. Nope. It would be nice if they did. <sighs> I did get that heart tank, right? Yeah, you got the heart piece. Okay. I, just wasn't even I can't. I was, I was just doing on like. I'm auto so used to calling them heart pieces. I can't call them a heart I like, tank. I was like on. I was on autopilot. Okay, so we're going with the fourth armor because I think we need to charge. I'm not sure. I know where it is. Alright, so so right, yeah. This is pretty close to the beginning of the stage. It's right here. It's the fire, fire thing. The fire. Yeah. Yeah, you have to charge it. Thank God that doesn't kill you. Oh, that would suck. Get off this thing. There we go. It's easier to charge it. There's the X tank. And all that's left now is Axel the Red. Yeah, I don't know. What about patience? I can just take damage, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I mean, really, it, it doesn't really matter. Your defenses are so good with the guy armor, you can just play super recklessly. It's one of the nice things about it. I think it's over here. Okay, that hurt me ridiculously. Uh. Well, you don't want to get hit by that thing. Can you open up? Might be another one of these things. No. Okay. So, as I recall, it's in one of these... Those things are ridiculously cheap, by the way. Oh, right. Can we pick these boxes up? There's something you have to do. You can, like, push them or something. I don't know. I don't remember. To die. I know it's a puzzle. I think if you shoot them, they move? I don't know. I don't remember how it works. Try dashing into them. I know you have to build a bridge. Oh, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, it's dashing into them. Dashing at them. 
Well, that was yourself. very strange. <laughs> you glitched into the boxes, kept glitching into the boxes, man. That was, that was really great. cool. Yeah, that's what. That's how I glitched through. Um, that. Oh yeah, I keep. No wonder I was screwing up. I was trying to air dash, and then, apparently you can't with the guy armor, which I knew, yeah, but I forgot in the moment. Oh, don't do it again. You did it again. Nobody said I'm. Pa I only said I have don't have patience problems. Yeah, I think you'd need three of them. Yeah, I know. Can he please die? Damn it. Oh. Can't do it now. I don't think they come back. Oh, they do come back. They do. So the enemy is up. Uh, yeah, I noticed. Where are you going? Okay. I think you want to just destroy that middle box somehow without destroying the other one. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, reset it. This is a really stupid puzzle, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> Give it a couple more tries, and then when I come back from break, if you didn't get it, I'll take over. I shall be back. You needed to have two. What's that? Okay. Alright. So now we got this. Okay, so we got it. Got it. <sighs> Save. I think that's all of them. But let me double check. So we got the heart piece and Dark Dizzy, yes. This guy, Skibber, yes. Matrix, yes. Just did Grizzly Slash. Good Adler, yes. Firefly, yes, just got that one. Tidal Wave, yes. And then Axe of the Red. So yeah, we got them all. Got all the all the tanks. All the armors. Other than the ultimate armor and the black armor, that's the only thing left to get. Yes, something like that. Um. Just go somewhere to try to fill up this last bit of energy tank. Maybe it, it didn't count because I didn't have. He probably doesn't count, right? No. But he does give me a life. And yeah, he's an easily farmable life. Which is nice. Oh, shit. I don't know where to farm energy in this one. Like, at all.
I forget where I do it. I'm sure there's a spot, but... I might as well... No, come on, which one's the fire? There is no good spot. I know there's something I used originally. Come on, can you drop? I only need like one energy tank or one thing, man. Come on. Seriously. There has to be like a pickup somewhere. Let's go to Skiver. Oh, we have it. Okay. I don't know how I have it, but I guess I have it now. Weapon tank. Oh, God. I don't know. This weapon tank doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, we have 14 and 2. And I'm back. Get it? Yeah, I filled up all but the weapon tank. Alright. Gotta start another share play -Doh. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna fill up the weapon tank. It's not that useful. The weapons aren't that good in X5. I wonder, you should fill up the weapon tank at least once, maybe on that first stage, because when you do the dark hold for laser stage, that's the same boss fight with the um, black devil, right? Yeah. I wonder if you use the dark hold when he actually comes into that point and just see if you could wreck shop on him. I don't think it works. Huh? Even if it does, it's it's worth it wouldn't shot. do enough damage. He's, he's easier with X to begin with. I'd rather not fill up half a tank. He's immune to yeah, the dark world. Ah, uh, that sucks. We'll probably end up filling and... it up anyway on the way. Okay, I'll... Probably. I'll start. Alright. Oh. We don't need the super recover anymore. We want the ultimate buster, I think? Yeah. Yeah. Jumper, ultimate buster. I think that's the way to go. Falcon... No, you want to go fourth. No. Because if this is the laser stage, you ain't going to be able to do the dark hold. That is true. Well, it's too late now. I forgot that you can't judge. No, you just... The dark hold is... That's just its default thing. No, for this laser part, so you don't have to try and dodge all the lasers. Yeah, but you... You don't have to charge it, man. You could still use the default yeah, that's, one. It doesn't have right. a charge shot. It does the same right. thing. For some odd reason, I didn't think you used special weapons when you were in this form, but it was the guy yeah, armor. You can still use the special weapons. It's very strange that this is the. Yeah, don't even worry about that guy. Oh, yeah. So the ultimate buster, we don't even have to charge anymore. We just have the charge shot. Nice. Which is nice. All right. It's very useful. We can drop down one more platform. And dark hold this bitch. No, stop. Ah! Oh, much for that. I don't want to waste a weapon tank on it. Well, actually, it comes back anyway. It comes back. <laughs> I hate when. I wish there was a way to like not grab the wall.
Like that. Like, I don't want to grab that wall. I wish I could tell him not to. Oh, that'd be or we can get through the first easy part, then use Dark Wolf. Yeah, Wolves. I know, but I don't want to deal with any of these goddamn lasers, man. I hate them. They're... This is a bad stage. It just is. This is another very badly designed stage. I use it right here. Oh, exciting. Does it really? No, it doesn't. It doesn't do that at all. What do you mean? Maybe there was a reason I didn't use the Ultimate Buster in the past. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it does that. What's he weak to? The lightning, probably. I don't remember. Oh, God damn it. Can I have like five seconds, please, game? Try thunder. No, it doesn't do that. So, played the game before. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the, like, I know that it works that way for other, for the fourth armor, but we're using the falcon armor. It doesn't have a charge shot for the weapons. Yeah, well, he stands no chance against me. It's actually easier to do this with X than it is zero because you don't have the double jump potentially interfering. Are you done? Not one more round. <sighs> da -da 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 -da. Come on. Now it should be done. That's good, because now I have to heal. Yep. Oh well. Hey, at least you only used one this time. What? Nope, he's not done yet. He can still do this the whole fight, but he just... Usually he does that stupid slime thing that's easy to deal with, but... Not today. <sighs> there it is. Sure, jump away from me uselessly. That's cool. Can you open up your eye? No? Are you gonna do that stupid thing again? Yep. Good. One more shot, that's all I need. Come on! Jump. Get him. 
I know it does, which makes no sense oh. at all. <laughs> yeah, we found that out. Oh my god. I found that out the first time I played the game. It, it makes no sense. It just should not be the case. Now that we're done with that horrible stage, we can go to the actual good stages of this final section. This stage is so terrible. Seriously. Yep. We already got the trophy for without using the dark hold. There, my attempt. Am I still going in with the falcon armor? Um, if you're if you're going in, first of all, equip the fourth armor without the ultimate buster because the ultimate buster sucks with the fourth armor. Jumper and. Yeah, that's quick charge good for the fourth buster armor. Plus. Probably quick charge. Yeah. Alright, fourth armor is good. And falcon armor we have. That's I, I like the the but the ultimate buster for the falcon armor. Because it doesn't yeah, interfere no with the other weapons. But whichever armor you like better. They're both good. Yeah, I'm not used to flying, so I'm just going to go with the... Uh, Unless you want to use the guy armor, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. No, I'm not good with the guy armor. Can't equip anything with the guy armor to begin with. We'll need to equip default X for the next stage as well. Yes, we do. Well, they don't... I don't know. It's, just, it's stupid. I don't like... Like, they don't do that in... Well, the Falcon Armor does trivialize this part. Yeah. Which is why I usually use the Falcon Armor for this part. Yeah, see, you're good at the flying, though. I'm not... Honestly, that guy does that virus to me looks more like Dynamo than it does Zero. But whatever. Oh my god, dude! Really? Okay. Well, that's a problem. It like poisons you if you get hit with three of them with X. It's not that big a deal, but it's there. Once you get on there, you gotta... Luckily you had the hover. I don't know how you're still alive, but you're still alive. I don't know. Hopefully they come back. I don't think they do. But you have the virus now. Yep. Now you're Sigma. You've been infected, now they come back. I'm dead. That was a terrible jump. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah, I know it does. I'm aware. We did a whole zero playthrough already. Honestly, just ignore the viruses. Unless you're like, trying for no damage, they're no threat to you. Doing a no hit run, does that technically count against zero then if they hit you? I would think so. Even though they're beneficial to him. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Um, wow. Welcome to me dying. Whatever, whatever you want me to take over. Alright, if I can't make it this time, I'll give it to you. So, you know, I just wasted like five of our lives. It don't matter. You start with four now, who cares? 
got the extra tank. No, he does no damage. I mean, usually, yeah. I know there are exceptions, like Kingdom Hearts 2. There are DOT things that you can't avoid, so they don't count. Like Axel's fire, Zemnis's um, one reaction command you have to do. Like, those still count as no hits. I don't know how you landed on that. I don't think you can do this because of the delay, dude. Like, I don't think you're fast enough. I'm gonna give it another attempt. Yeah, I'm not fast enough. Cause you gotta like jump immediately with like no delay. Like that. Oh, you're so nice. You're giving it back. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, yeah, you have the acid rain and, and rainy turtle. Earth. Obviously, that shouldn't count as a no da as a, as damage because it's unavoidable. I can't destroy these things. No, you have to that's, that's... Them. Yeah, I know. This whole game is an homage to some other games in the series, and the classic series for that matter. You gotta like, air dash. Or hover, that works too. There you go. Oh, well, that you can't air dash. That was really bad. That was supposed to be a dash jump. I noticed. It said it was a dash into the spikes. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. I know how to. I know how to. To make X6 relatively easy. Unless you're playing on extreme, in which case, what the hell is wrong with you? Do you know how many enemies are flooded on the screen on normal, let alone extreme on that game? You have to be nuts. Like, it's not its not a fun experience. They just load the screen with enemies. It's ridiculous. To the point where it's just cluttered and it looks terrible. And it's not fun. You know you can hold R1 oh, come on. and then hit X. Yeah, I hold R1 and it just dashes immediately. Yeah, I wasn't even hitting the direction. Yeah, but you can hold it and then jump and then cancel it. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. I mean, you can if you want, but it's it's not... X6 is just not balanced around Unarmored X. It's just not. They clearly didn't playtest the game with Unarmored X. And that's reality. They tested the game with zero. That's what they did. And they assumed it, the game would be fine. For X as well. Because they clearly just did uh, did zero test runs. They might have gone like done some testing with armored, ar the different armors of X. But they, they certainly never tested an unarmored X playthrough. There you go. Exciting. Yeah, I find the floating platform section easier in this game than in X1, frankly. Good job. Those things there. I usually just run through this. Because there's just too many enemies. There's health power up there anyway. 
what do you get above this checkpoint anyway? I mean, you might need to I use, gotta you gotta use the Tri Thunder on that guy. Tri Thunder. Square. Underneath him. There you go. There you go. He's the only guy I really bother taking out. That was up, people. Wow, you literally lost all your progress. You didn't just fall down, you fell all the way to the bottom. Oh, you literally just lost all your lives, too. Keep it up. I know you did. Wow. <laughs> Patience. Face the wrong way, Patience bitch. Patience is a virtue. Don't be, don't, don't have a distorted heart like in Persona 5 here. It's alright. Why do you turn around, you stupid fucking Mega Man? <laughs> uh, oh, the guy shot you. Look the other way. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's what I do. Wow, he survived the plasma shot. They toned the plasma shot down, by the way. I mean, you can have you know, strength thunder against that guy above you if you want. He's a little annoying if you don't kill him. I mean, I would try to understand, but I guess you don't want to. There you go. And then, when this guy's not shooting, I just jump through him. There you go. <laughs> Rolling a one on his command roll. Uh. You just gotta try thunder that guy. Oh, that's wrong one. Alright. That's it. Oh my god. Oh, it's my turn now. Why do they have game overs and lives? I just don't get it. I mean, I like that this is how it's done. This is how they should all be done. But, whatever. Don't have lives. <laughs> You're gonna do it this way. How did you do that? Do what? Did I take damage there? Not hit that spike. I don't know. Just didn't. Like, what is the point of this? If you're not going to give us health here... Like, they, I was about to say, when... Uh, wow. Oh. That's kind of... <laughs> How many times will we play this game and we never do that? I never do that. It's like that. Oh my god. That's pretty funny. Alright, so... C-Shot for the green... Green eye. Even Brock liked that one. The red eye is weak to. Oh wait, no, that's the red eye is weak to Tri Thunder, Blue Eye, Ground Fire, and then what's the nose weak to? Probably the Ice Shot. The Gel Shaver, Goo Shaver, whatever. I just call that shit the Ice Shot. Start with this thing. Why not? This is the blue one. 
green one. Not that this guy's that hard. What's the blue one weak to? What did I say? Try thunder. No, that was the red. Never mind. It's ground fire. That makes sense, actually. He's blue. Green is C shot. Oh, why did they change this? This guy is Goo Shaver. I don't want to kill him, though. Because it stays closed. Yeah. No, I don't have the symbols memorized. The weapons are really bad in this game. Ground, uh, that's... Try Thunder. Try Thunder. I hate that. That this is this is a bad boss fight, guys. Because you 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 can't react to those spikes. There needed to be an indication that it was going to come out, not just it comes out and you die. It's bad well, design. Well, now we know the indication. It's when bad we design. An eye or more. There's no indication. It just starts slowly coming out, but by the time you react to it, it's too late. As far as I know. I've never noticed an indication. There's nothing that flashes. I mean, maybe there is, but I've never noticed it. Stay up high. So the green one is what? C shot? Yep. Are you not dead? Are you Ew. serious? You're not gonna die? Like, what the fuck? Like, I shot that thing a million times, and he's just like, nope. Not gonna die for no reason. Sure. Why not, game? He's not that hard. He just does things that are cheap. Those spikes are cheap. This is basically like the, the boss in the first one. Except... Nope. Wrong one. Less fun. And by less fun, I mean it's not fun at all. I was about to say, it's about the same amount of fun. No. It was a much better boss fight, I think. This guy's basically designed for zero to fight, unfortunately. I mean, at least if you're going to have those spikes like that, they shouldn't be one-hit kill. This guy has way too much invulnerability. Oh, are you kidding me, right? 
I haven't hit the green one at all. Yeah, like, how am I supposed to know? I have to just hope. I have to hope and pray, basically. Dumb. You're on the right one. No, I'm not. You're on the triathunder. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Okay, good. This eye is the most annoying one. Oh, come on. Really, dude? Fine. Yeah, how am I supposed to know? I don't get it. Now, what's that guy we did? The ground fire? Ground fire. And then the sea shot. Yep. But I'm gonna die, because this guy's gonna... I was say, you could always pause yeah, and heal. how are you... No, I don't wanna heal. How are you supposed to avoid this in this situation? Can you explain that to me? Explain so that, that one, I'm Brock. First. How are you supposed to avoid that? The game puts you in that situation. How are you supposed to avoid it? How are you supposed to avoid damage? It's... I don't think it's possible. That's bad design. You never use his weakness? <laughs> Isn't his weakness the C shot? Oh, God damn it. Get... Stop it! <laughs> Get on my level. <laughs> I guess the green one you might be able to take out with the charge shot faster. No, it doesn't take it out. They just don't die if you use the char if you use the other thing. But that's dumb. Uh, C shot. C shot. I don't even know how you're supposed to avoid that. Or at least I can somewhat understand it. This is, like, the worst boss in the game. Imagine Rangda Bangda if he was terrible. And that's this boss. Oh, great. That's what I wanted. I wanted you to die. Seriously. Um, I would like to know how I am supposed to dodge that. Like, seriously, I, I would like to know. I want Capcom to make a video demonstration of how you're supposed to dodge that. If you can be put in that situation, you should be able to avoid it. This is far and away, like, the worst boss in the game. It's not even that it's hard, it's just remote, it's just ridiculously unfair. Yay! So I'll kill him eventually, it's just a matter of when I get lucky enough, basically. That's what this boss fight is. Depends on, you know, when you kill the things, and hopefully the sun's the last one. Basically, you want the green one to die first. Good luck getting that to happen, because it's totally random. See, this is a good, good one. Now I can't shoot him at all, or he will die. I have to hope that the spikes don't come out and kill me. They didn't for some reason. I don't know why they didn't. Because we didn't kill any of the other eyes yet. I think it's based on the health bar. Sure. Like, this part is okay, but when you kill him, it should go. You shouldn't have to do that. You should be able to use the weakness. That is ridiculous. I'm not gonna do that. Try a thunder. The game gave these guys a weakness, and it gave me the weapons to use them for a reason. Like, I want to know, when the walls are closed in, how I'm supposed to dodge that green one. Stay in that upper corner when you're done.
They only come out once, but... So much. Come on, dude. Try Thunder? Mm hmm. Please don't close. So, where are the spikes coming? How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know that? It's There's like, gotta be some tell sign there that we isn't. don't see. I've been looking. Basically, the, the very tips of them don't hurt you for like a split second. That's your tell. Which is not really a tell. Uh, fire. Ground fur. Really? Please don't close. Okay, good. Please die. Thank you. Now I have to hope to God that the spikes don't come out and kill me. Ground fire. How do you do what? How do you do charge shots? You just hold the button. Boss, hate this boss. You hold the fire button. If you mean charge shots for special weapons, you hold the square button, or whatever you have set. No, not the square button. Whatever you have set to. I don't want to use a tank. I shouldn't need to. Then stop complaining. You use whatever the special weapon is. Special weapon button is. What is it by default? Triangle. I think it's triangle. What am I? No, dude. I'm not gonna bitch about. I'm not gonna stop bitching about what is objectively a bad boss fight. You know the whole idea behind Mega Man is that there's ridiculous boss fights. This is and not they a ridiculous boss you... fight, dude. This is an unfair boss fight. There is a difference. They give you energy tanks. Yeah, what do energy tanks do? They restore your health but you and you're almost dying. Like, you have, like, you're forced to take damage here, basically. Unless you know, like, specific pattern manipulation. But you shouldn't have to know. You should be able to react to everything. Mega Man games have always had pattern recognition. No, there's a difference between pattern recognition and... Taking force damage if you don't manipulate the AI. And that's the problem. You have to manipulate this guy's AI. I know they do it hitless, but they're 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 doing AI manipulations. Which is a different thing. There is no way to no damage this boss fight without like just playing it, trying to react to everything. It's just not possible. It is a terrible, terrible boss. It is one of the worst boss fights in the series. Like, I like this game, but this is a terrible boss fight. Like, now I'm screwed. I'm in a situation where there's basically not nothing screwed. I can do. Try a thunder. I could use charge shots, actually. But I don't think it would help. No, it doesn't help me at all with the try shot. No, the C shot one, it would. Oh, the C shot one, it might, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is That'll definitely good. record stay. And ground fire is good too. Ground fire, yeah. The weapons just aren't very good in this one, so I like forget <laughs> to charge, frankly. Uh, let's Try thunder. I might actually do it. Nope. Welcome to the stream, endless. Sorry, I just, I really, this is just. This is like the only boss in the game that is just terribly designed. It depends on what the weapon is, whether you should charge or not. Unfortunately, Tri Thunders has 
one of, if not the worst charge shot I've ever seen in the series. But that's okay, it's not too bad. It's all about how you use it. That's it's it. probably good for when there's lots of enemies on this field. There we go, that's, oh, yeah. that's better. Forgot that you can do that. Ah. Down fire one, I don't think that'll be effective. Right. Whatever, man. I'm sorry, but this, this closing part and the spikes coming out is not good design, and there is no convincing me otherwise. There needs to be a tell. Oh, no. And there is no tell. I know that hurt. Brock, I hope you stay safe, man. He's in Tennessee, so he's not like... I mean, he's going to be affected, but he's not. He's, luckily, he's not Louisiana or, or Texas. I don't even remember. My memory's so bad. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Ground for. <laughs> I mean, this boss fight's okay in X1. It's terrible here. Like, look at that. I'm lucky. Basically, the only reason why I survived right there is because I was lucky. Screw this boss fight. Uh, see, I got lucky there. My dash jump didn't trigger. I must have been too slow on the dash button. They go in a pattern? I was not aware of that. Okay, but well now we can take this guy out. That's just, that's not, I'm sorry, that is not fair. That is not fair. That's just not fair at all. There was no way I could have reacted to that. None. You have to be lucky. Has a weakness. I mean, they give it to you. Wait, what? I mean, I'll try it without the weakness. I don't know what the difference is. The difference is he takes way less damage, that's for sure. Doesn't be too bad, I guess. Oh, that actually blocks that. I mean, it, they could have fixed this boss fight by just removing the spikes on the sides. That would have helped. I guess he does die from that, okay. Yeah. This is stupid. Why why is the weakness less effective? It's dumb. Once I get through Oh look! Spikes I can't possibly predict unless I magically have something memorized. Lovely. I love luck based things. Those spikes are horrible. They should not be there. They just shouldn't. I don't know what they were thinking when they designed this boss fight. There's no way you can react to that. None. Like, it's coming out of the wall where you are. You're dead. It touches you almost immediately. I mean, you're telling me I'm supposed to literally jump, like, re like process that in my head? There's no way. 
No, dude, those spikes are objectively bad. They should not be there. This guy, I can at least see how you are intended to dodge it in this situation. I guess you're intended to block his shots. Okay. Fine. Kind of weird. I mean, what do you do if you don't have this armor? I guess you die. Can you please die, dude? Thank you. Just to give you a heads up, you probably got him beat like about five tries ago if you just used an energy tank. Yeah, I'm aware, but I'm stubborn and I didn't want to use an energy tank. Well, it's not like the next stage we're not going to be able to refill it because it's just going to be the boss calling it. Yeah, I know. It was the principle of the matter. I hate that no, guy. No, it wasn't the principle. Whatever. Here, have the controller. I gotta go in there as normal X. Oh, screw that boss. Screw those spikes. If they just All removed right. those spikes... Jumper... Oh. You know you have to... Quick charge. Don't use the ultimate buster. You can do burst shots and buster plus. Yeah, that that's not surprising. So you gotta get the ultimate armor. We can also get the black armor here. For zero. Black armor is easy to get, though. This is not. Just do a dash. Yeah, there you go. I think you can maybe just walk past it, but I don't remember. That's the only boss fight I hate in this game. Is that stupid... It's only because of those dumb spikes that come out. Did the delay, delay kill you? No, the delay didn't kill me. It's just that put jumper on, and this is my normal jump. Right, yeah, I know it is. If I would have did my normal jump, I would have died. But you need jumper to get through... Well, you don't need jumper, but I think it helps with that ridiculously hard jump later on. Because you can't air dash with Amar, Amar, unarmored X. Zero has a much easier time with this because of the angle. Yeah, okay. The Claude has nothing to do with reacting to the spikes, man. It is very difficult, if nearly impossible, to react to spikes that are literally coming out to poke you in the ass. It could have been solved super easy if they just put, like, a flash or an indicator of where the spikes were going to be before they no. came out. Like, change the color of the wall. Something. Anything. Like, why can I figure this out and they can't? God damn. <laughs> no, dude, I just want a reasonable freaking indication that a spot is unsafe without it becoming immediately unsafe with no possible time to react. I'm not the only one that's complained about those spikes. Like, review after review has complained about the spikes on those on that boss fight that comes out of the wall. That you have virtually no time to react to something that just kills you instantly. I would be willing to forgive it more if it wasn't an instant kill. 
but it's an instant kill. So it's really an unforgivable thing. Like, if it just take over. I ain't gonna be able to do this part. If it just damaged you, whatever. But it doesn't, unfortunately. Wow, I just tried to air dash like an idiot. Did I just yeah, I would have sewed that, that there. Easily? Yeah. Very easily. Not right. Break number two. All right. I'll give you a first crack at the stage. Well, I'm going to go on back in with zero and get the black armor for completion. Oh, all right. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, the Giga Attack on limited times, which is ridiculous. Yeah, ignore Dr. Light here. The Giga Attack is absurdly overpowered, and you should be using it basically as your only attack at this point. Unless you're banning it for whatever reason. For some reason, you have to leave the stage and then go back in. I don't know why. That's that's pretty piss poor game design, but whatever. It's a minor thing, but it is annoying. If they were gonna do it that way, you should. I never understood why you just can't leave a stage to begin with. It's a little silly. The zero's gonna suck, but. That's fine. So we didn't give him, get him anything. Yes, you can get both the black armor and the ultimate armor. I'm only doing it because I consider it part of completion. Son of a bitch. I should have done a spin slash there. Really? Huh. Thought I had killed that guy, but I guess not. I don't even care about these things. Actually, I probably should care because I'm. I don't have a lot of health with Hero. But now we made it. It's super easy to get this with Hero. Well, maybe not super easy, but you can do it. All right. For some reason, like Black Zero just replaces Red Zero. I I don't know why. It's like not a like like X is treated like separate characters with his armors. Whereas zero is not, I, I don't know why. Unfortunately, now I have to die to leave the damn stage. Hey, cat. I like the black armor, it looks cool. Looks cool. Yeah, they probably didn't need to be made. <laughs> Actually. Um, I forget if you can equip uh, things on the ultimate armor. I don't... You can. That's dumb, man. <laughs> you can equip things on ultimate armor, but not Gaia armor. Man, that's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a bit of a bad joke. Um, anyway. Whatever. Let's... Buster Plus or Quick Charge? I don't know. Add him back. 
I'll say quick charge. Yeah, we'll go with quick charge. Okay. This is weird. So it's X, fourth armor, Gaia armor, Falcon armor, zero, <laughs> ultimate armor. Whatever. Now I forget exactly how good the ultimate armor is. I know it's like ridiculous. Mm. What's really weird is... What, quick charge won't do anything for... Giga attack spam? I know, it doesn't do anything for it. But to be fair, most parts don't do anything for the ultimate armor, really. Besides, there are times when I want to shoot the, the buster. I do it all the time. Oh yeah, it's basically the fourth armor. With the, oh yeah, you still can hover. The only thing you lose is the flight of uh, the what do you call it? Uh, the Falcon armor, but oh, okay. who cares? It's a small price to pay. It's just it's the ludicrous armor. I love it. It, it trivializes the rest of the game, so. I mean, I guess we could have gotten Super Recover. Yeah, could have. No, it has the Giga Attack. It just, you can only use it once. Or, well, not once, but you know what I mean. Like, per. Oh. That, that wasn't good. good. That wasn't good. <laughs> you can use, um... It, it charges up by, uh, you know, taking damage. And then you expend it. It's just the ultimate armor you have unlimited. Freaking notification. Threw me off there. I took my eye off the game. Let's look at the corner there. It's okay, I'll start this back up. Let's do this. Oh yeah, that will kill you if you wait too long. There's nothing else down there, so don't bother. Oh, if you go there without, um, wait for that one to fall. If you go down there without the, uh, with uh, as armored X, any armored X, capsule's not there. Yeah, you can also use the Giga Tech as a dash. I forget what Zero's weak to, but I really don't care. Oh yeah, we're fighting Zero this time because we're X. Uh, the Zero boss fight is a lot harder than the X boss fight for some reason. If you're on the bad ending, you fight like Maverick Zero here, and he's slightly harder. Yeah, Black Armor Zero. Well. Yeah, it just has like the glow around him. Oh. And I think I think the only difference is, is some of his attacks have like a weird homing thing on you. Nothing. Nothing that interesting. Like that giant W in the background. <laughs> Isn't it a good thing that he is immune to the virus? Shouldn't you be happy about this? You know, your best friend is immune to the virus. Maybe check his, you know, body for antibodies that you could give to other reploids. No, that would be logical. No, instead we need to have a pissing match. Because they've been building up to this fight the entire time and had a really and had no idea how to make it happen in the good ending path. Technically, yes, but, I mean, they don't really know that. They could, you know, examine him, see if maybe there's something they could do to make other people immune to the virus. They could, you know, try. 
instead of having this random pissing match against a guy that has literally never once betrayed them ever. I don't know, this just comes out of nowhere. Oh, especially that line he just said. I'm really worried about you. I don't want nothing to happen to you, and I don't trust you. I know you. that's not the way the series goes. Because that would be logical. But, however, I'm going to rock out to this goddamn awesome boss theme. I thought this was supposed to be hard. <laughs> Dude, nothing is hard with the goddamn Giga Dash. Whatever it is. I don't know. Falcon Attack. I don't know whatever you want to call it. I think it's a, the Giga Attack, but yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure it's the Giga Attack. You didn't expect him to do what? Get his ass kicked? It normally is hard, but when you have the ultimate armor, it trivializes it. Which... I actually like, because you, you're you going out of your way to get it. It should trivialize the rest of the game. I forget if Zero could use Soul Body. I think he could, right? Because he could create, like, a clone in the previous game? Yeah, he creates a clone. Oh, yeah, this scene. He did in this game. Yeah, he does with Twin Dream. Why doesn't he just use Twin Dream? I don't know. I think it's Twin Dream in this game. Is it Dynamo? Oh, no, I forgot. I'm sorry. Dynamo's not relevant at all. Yeah, it's hard to avoid, like, Zero's um, punching the ground attack. So this scene is really dumb in the dark and the bad ending. Like, really dumb. Yeah, you know, it's a similar weapon in X4. See this here. Like, Maverick Zero will show up here and do the same thing that's happening now. Which raises all sorts of questions, by the way, of why couldn't any other robot overcome the Maverick virus, but whatever. I guess because Zero created it. First gen, man. First gen. Technically, or it was first in him. So it's kind of his virus. Yeah, in the bad ending path, he just blasts Zero and Zero dies. <laughs> and then Sig was like, huh. Well, that was it. That was it. Uh, uh, he's dead. I'm going to walk away now. Why? Just kill X. He's lying there unconscious. And for some reason, he doesn't. And I don't know why. Maybe you know why. But I don't. Like, here Zero injures him with, like, a surprise attack or something. That that makes sense. It makes no sense for him to run away from a dead Zero. And, and a defeated X. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, it's Sigma. He wouldn't do that. Oh, and then they still have all the dialogue about Zero afterwards. Even though Zero's dead and it makes no sense whatsoever. Like, <laughs> X still acts like he's alive. I'm not kidding. Like, Zero, like, Sigma's still like, Oh, X is gonna, or Zero's gonna die here with you. And it's like, dude, he's already dead. I, I guess, but since when has Sigma ever left somebody alive? I mean, all evil the time Sigma. I mean, I guess... He left Zero alive in their fight in the flashback in four, but that was because he wanted. That's because he wasn't evil at the time, and he was, and he wanted him to be studied. But there's an explanation. I don't know. There's just no explanation for it. Like it's, it's a really annoying thing. Like I know you can't have the protagonist die, and I know you can write yourself into a corner because of that. So you have to figure out a way to let the you know the protagonist escape, but just. Right a reason, right away, come up with something. A Deus Ex Machina is better than just, I'm leaving now, bye. It's like, okay, sure.
sure. I don't know, it makes the villains look really dumb. And incompetent, frankly. Like, it really downgrades them. Alright, I'll give they you kinda are. I know they are kind of, they're kind of dumb. I don't know. I think, I think the X series really does suffer a lot from... Honestly, Sigma's... It, it becomes kind of silly, just him constantly being the villain when it's supposed to be... Supposed to be like a more serious storyline and he just keeps coming back like a Saturday morning cartoon villain. It's like... It's, I don't know. I mean, I don't care too much about the plot in these games, really. No! <laughs> But, whatever. The music's really good in X5. It's just kind of... I mean, they kind of advertise this series as, like, the more mature series, and, like... I don't know. It's not that, not that great plot-wise, unfortunately. Supposedly, the Zero series actually does have a good coherent plot. With an actual conclusion and everything, which is cool. I love this song. By the way, if you game over, just go again. You can use the Giga Attack, it's triangle, as a dash. It's a really good dash, actually. I love this song. Keep going, because there's a life and health. And health here. It doesn't matter which one you take on, just spam the de spam the giga attack. Except for against yep. uh dolphin guy. Yeah. Because you'll 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 dash into the spikes. And I guess I can tell you they're weak too, but I mean... Like, this guy is weak to the Gel Shaver, if you care. But, they're all weak to the Giga Attack. Yeah, um... Man. This is the worst boss rush in the series. Excluding X7, but... X7 is bad for a different reason. X7 should not have had a boss rush. It just should not. Oh my god, the load time. What the hell were they thinking? They fixed that in the Legacy Collection, thankfully. They fixed the loading time. So it's manageable. But... Yeah, the boss rush in X5. Man, just giving the bosses oodles of health doesn't make it harder. What is this guy weak to? Crescent shot. Right. You can't use it against this guy. I mean, you can, but... I mean, I'd use it on him when he goes to the other side. Hit X. Are you okay? Why am I hitting X? No, because you have to select it with the X button. Yeah, you just said not to use it on him. No, you just press the shot on him. You were highlighting it. So why were you, were you telling just, me not? You were just sitting there. No, I said... Hit the X button to confirm. I think it's the crescent shot. That's not. The yeah, it is. I just didn't hit him with it. Yeah, like, is this necessary? He's not any harder than he is the first time. The only difference is it just takes forever to kill him. Yay. Don't use the charge shot, because I don't think it'll it'll just waste a lot of energy. It doesn't help you that much. You can only hit him once, dude. I'm not hitting him with the, the crescent shot right now. Oh. I'm doing the charge shot. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot he can do that. 
Watch out, there's spikes there. That's why I did that. Yeah. I don't know why they decided this was a good idea. If you're gonna do the terrible boss rush, fine. But at least do it like you did in all the other ones, other than X1. I think X1 is the only one that did the boss rush to get right. Where it was like implemented into each level. So it wasn't breaking up the flow of the levels. That's how the boss... Like, I find it weird that both Classic Mega Man 1 and Mega Man X1 are the only two games that did the boss rushes right. Well, more so X1 than Classic 1, but... You can use the Giga thing now. Just stay in him if you're spamming it. Well, X1, that you fight them in the stages as you go. Like, they're implemented uh, organically. I mean, I don't have an issue with a boss rush if you do it right. But none of these games do it right. Uh, if you care what this guy's weak to, he's weak to the spike ball. Giga attack! I don't know, it's silly. I mean, they do use the boss rush in X1 for um, story purposes as well, which is effective. I mean, it's another way they could have done things. At least we give it a reason why it's happening, and they make it a very disturbing reason, which is cool. In X1's remake. I hit all of these boss rushes. I know you do. Yep. Oh, this guy. Oh. Uh, I'm not gonna be looking forward to fighting the Pegasus. Ground fire. If you care, but I would just... I'm pretty sure as long as you just keep spamming this, I don't even think you can take damage while you're in it. Basically, it has a tiny amount of recovery time that you can cancel if you perfectly time it, too. You gotta mash, dude. I am mashing. You win. Oh, yeah, X8 has a reason, too. I mean, granted, I don't like the boss rush in that game either, but... I don't know. I just, I just don't, I, I don't get the point. You already beat these guys, like, wasting our time at this point. There's nothing different about them or interesting. Like, why not give them a couple of new attacks? You know, change their AI a little bit. Maybe have this guy fire a projectile, you know? I don't know. It just, it makes no sense to me. I mean, Chrono Trigger is my second favorite JRPG of all time. It has a terrible boss rush in it. I mean, at least if, I mean, if a boss rush is optional, I mean, whatever. But making it mandatory? Man, I don't know. It's dumb. Which is my number one JRPG? <laughs> Persona 5 Royal. 
That may change, but as of right now, it has dethroned Chrono Trigger. That was the one I was worried about. I mean, my favorite JRPGs right now. Persona 5 Royal. Chrono Trigger. Final Fantasy 4. Wild Arms 3. And then I have to think. <laughs> but I can give you the first, the top four. My, favorite, my four favorite JRPGs. But I don't know what the fifth one would be. Perhaps Final Fantasy X isn't on there. No, Final Fantasy X is not on my top ten. I, I like Final Fantasy X, but I don't like it that much. Probably Xenoblade Chronicles. It's probably number five. I mean, number five used to be Persona 5, but Royal has. Here, take over for a sec. I gotta do something real quick. Right back. Okay. You know, Royal has massively improved the game. The point where I literally like it better than Chrono Trigger. <laughs> also, I fixed my belt again because it's annoying. And I hate it. Anyway, um, that's only one. Okay. Nope, two. Okay. I don't know. Maybe that's surprising, but whatever. For years, Chrono Trigger was my favorite JRPG, but... I don't know, 5 hours is just amazing. I don't know, just thematically, like... I just empathize with it so much. Empathize? That's probably the wrong word. I don't know, I love the whole changing society theme. Characters are all awesome, the confidants are awesome, the new gameplay mechanic changes are fantastic. Kasumi and Maruki are amazing additions. The redesigns, palaces are awesome, the dungeons are really good. There's like very little wrong with Persona 5 Royal. It's just an amazing game all around. It's why I continue to do like four or five hour streams of it because I, I literally do not want to stop playing it. And that hasn't happened. Alright, I'm back. Sorry oh, about that. that. That's alright. You know what? Tales of the Abyss is probably my fifth favorite JRPG. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no Tales games on there either? It's probably Tales of the Abyss. Which is partially nostalgia based, but. It was I haven't done a rank played. five for my top favorite JRPG games in a while. I know my top favorite is Final Fantasy VII. I just can't let that. The original. Yep. The original Final Fantasy VII, that's my all time favorite game. I think, like, half of them are Final Fantasy games. I got Final Fantasy VII, then right behind that is Final Fantasy X. Then we got Disgaea, the first one. Then Tales of the Abyss. Am I have to say Tales of Bergia? Yes, I would. Bergia is in my top 10. This area. It's definitely my top 10. Mainly because Velvet is one of my favorite characters ever. She's probably like my second. What is War of the Lions? Uh, Tactics. It's a tactics game, Pump is a tactics. Oh. 
I think it's the remake of Final Fantasy Tactics. Like the PSP remake? I think it's PSP. You almost fell for it again. The hover makes this super easy. Yeah. See, I like those uh, invisible blocks in this one because they're, you know, they're not. They're ridiculous. nice and slow. They don't disappear too fast. No, they have an indicator that they're going to appear. And there's a nice sound effect. Well done. Do you want to have a go with the final boss? Because I beat it last time. Sure, let me try it once or twice. I mean, you can probably beat him pretty easily, considering we have the Nova. Ultimate yeah, armor. Yeah, ultimate armor. <laughs> I'm just going to basically try and Nova strike him to death. Yeah, that's that's what I would do. <laughs> I think when I fought him, like, we just kept shouting, Nova strike! Over and over again, as he just owned him. <laughs> just to be smart ass. That's right! <laughs> like, Nova Strike! Nova Strike! <laughs> I don't know why we kept, we kept calling it the Nova Strike. I remember that. Even that's the Giga Attack. I think that's because in one of these games it was called the Nova Strike. I don't know, man. I don't remember. Oh yeah, Sigma's talking. Like, he has this dialogue, even if Zero's dead, and it's like, dude, the guy's dead. Like, what difference does it make? And he, like, threatens to kill Zero or something. It's like, dude, what are you gonna do? Revive him so you can kill him again? <laughs> but then again, this is the same guy that was like, So you see, Zero, you were a maverick. Wait! <laughs> oh my god, you were a maverick?! That's amazing! <laughs> I didn't know that! But oh, you're the one that told me the story. I did? Holy shit, I did! I didn't know I knew that story! Yeah, that's what I thought it was. It is called the Nova Strike. Oh, it is the Nova Strike. Okay. Oh. I was like, I knew there was a reason why we kept saying Nova Strike. <laughs> I just heard it was like, Nova Strike, Nova Strike. And we, were, we got so good at timing, it just couldn't even hurt us. Oh, man. Yeah, the... Uh, I'll give him credit. The purple cloak, the purple wing cloak thing, looks pretty cool. I mean, it, it's a Sephiroth ripoff, but, you know, it, it, you might as well rip off the best. Mm. No, it's not Sephiroth Actually, ripoff. Actually, I don't even know right if this there. game came out before or after FF7. It's a way before, man. Well, FF7 was 97. When, when, when does this game release? Wait, isn't this a PlayStation game? Yeah, F so is FF7. Oh, yeah. Durr. <laughs> if I had to take a guess, it probably came out the same year, or probably a little bit after. Ah, uh, damn. Release date. That was a close one. 2000. It came out after. Oh my god. November Way 5th. after. November 30th, 2000. <laughs> Where did you come up with 5th? I'll never forgive you for this. Yeah, it, that is a mistranslation, but I'm sorry. It's like the funniest mistranslation ever. Because two seconds of proofreading would have caught that. I'm going to listen to this awesome boss theme, by the way. Nova Strike! Nova Strike! Nova Strike! Ah, oh, that sucks. Ah! Should I just use an energy tank and beat him? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'm only gonna be use wasting one if I... Doesn't matter, there's a health that can be picked up anyway. You might as well try to beat him. Alright. <laughs> I'm a giant face! What? 
<laughs> That's what he should just say. I mean, the stronger you are, the bigger my face. I mean, wait till you see me in X7. But first, I gotta be a zombie. What? It's complicated, okay? Then I get to be another zombie! Oh, God. See? I'm a giant face! You can't stop the giant face! It's... I, I have the power of JPEG image! Nobody overcomes the JPEG! Seriously, we're literally fighting a final boss that is a JPEG image. I mean, imagine if, like, you got to the end of FF7 and you're fighting the final boss and a JPEG image comes down. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely change my feelings on the game if that were to happen. I mean, this, li this is literally has one what's of the going most on. badass fucking final yeah. fights. Like, no animation or nothing. It's just a JPEG image with a hitbox on, the, on a little, on a giant little, you know, fuck me light on his head, right? Like Star Fox. Except a JPEG image. Cool final boss theme, though. Yeah, but FF6 is like artwork. This is like a shitty JPEG image. I mean, hand-drawn artwork is cool. Hey, you consider you can consider. This I guess art. this is hand-drawn artwork, but it, it's an action game that's supposed to have animation. Also, I just realized what is wrong with his chin. If they wanted to give him a butt chin, but then they realized... I know they are. This is his game. But, I don't know. I think that's okay in a turn-based JRPG. it as a dash too. Come on, stop! Okay, no! You're failing stop! Now, miserably. He's dead. Got him. Yes! Beat a final boss. First one out of the X series. Actually. No, you beat X2s, didn't you? No, wait, I beat X2 this time, didn't I? This is the first time in the entire Mega Man series when I'm playing. That I've beat a final boss. On stream at least. Didn't you beat... Wow, you nope. killed him right as he transitioned to wireframe. I've never seen that. Yeah, like, even if Zero is dead in the bad ending, he literally still says, I'll take Zero down with me. Dude, he's already dead. What do you mean? And Nexus is like, no, stop using my dead corpse of my friend. It's like, dude, did you forget he's dead? I mean, in the good ending, this makes sense. The bad ending doesn't. Whatever.
Yeah, it's just super out of place, like, giant JPEG image in a Mega Man game. Can't use the word death now, or die. No, he said die earlier. Oh, did he? Yeah. That's surprising for a Nintendo game. Technically, it's a PlayStation game. Uh, whatever. Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. Of course, they can use die and death <laughs> at this point. Yeah, we're already past the Nintendo days. So now this is gonna make a lot more sense than Zero's random like, "Oh, Iris, I failed you." <laughs> Which is like, wait, is Zero dying? Like, oh, I guess so. Yeah, Zero's dying. He'll never be back. Nope. Never, you spoiled it already ever earlier in the be back. Yeah, I know. Look. I'm now another different kind of JPEG image. There's no stopping me now. <laughs> Why? How? Also, X, you want to, like, Drop him and shoot it now. Wait, okay. Oh no, he did shoot him in the front. Okay. Does he shoot him in the front? I guess he does. The also, way it looks like his ex was looking at him. It looks like ex was looking at him, yeah. But. I don't know. The only way for this to work is he shot him in the back, so X couldn't have been looking at him. I, I guess. I don't know. Eh, it's Zero, a Mega Man Zero game. shoots That's him and kills the guy, apparently. I don't know how you do that with next to no body, but whatever. Come on, the robots. As long as they have their central circuits, which is usually their head, they can survive. I guess, but like... I mean, tell that to Iris, or the Colonel, or the General, or any of Repliforce. <laughs> or, frankly... They all exploded. They lost their head well, when the explosion Well, guess who else exploded? Happened. Vile! Guess what he was back in? X3! See, you thought he exploded, but what he did was really just blow off his armor to make it look like no, he exploded. No, he exploded. Doppler's mm -hmm. like, I repaired you. Oh. With upgrades. It's all something. just clever know. trickery. It's all clever trickery. No, nah, it's just yep. it's just inconsistency with the series, frankly. Death means nothing unless it matters to the series. It's it's kind of like Dragon Ball, you know. All of their data was deleted. Of course it was. Sure. That's logical. In the future, there's no such thing as data backups. No cloud Wait, storage here. Come on now. We don't have flying cars yet, so they don't know how to predict futures in I anything. Guess. Okay, I guess. It's just dumb. Like, Zero can come back as many times as he needs to, but nobody else can, except for Vile. Like, Vile and Zero can. Why? I don't know. Like, it's just hard for me to give a damn when <laughs> when you just keep bringing Zero back. So it's like, oh no, he died. Like, okay, I'll see him in the next game. Okay. Like, you've already ruined it when you brought him back in X2. It's like, did anybody really buy this back in X when X5 came out? I'm pretty sure people did. But anyway, yeah, X gets the Zero the Z Saber, which he will have... In um, X6, uh, a lot of people don't like it in X6 with him with the Z Saber, but I think it's pretty useful on him actually. I like it, especially the air yeah, slash. Yeah, I think you're the only one. It's really fast. Like I think it's really good. I use it a lot actually when I'm playing as X. You know, I've always wondered how did he take Zero Saber when technically Zero Saber was his arm. And it was destroyed. Look, man, you're asking logical questions that I don't have an answer for, okay? Well, I wasn't asking you. I was just wondering. Yes, I know. The, the saber was destroyed. We saw that in the cutscene. It's magically back. I don't know. I got nothing for you. 
Um, in the bad ending... Yeah, but he doesn't the, have the saber. It's on his... I know it's on his back, but... But, um... No, the saber's good against against other enemies. I mean, it's not great against all the bosses, but it's good against Oh, all it's enemies. not his arm? What? No, it's not on his arm. It's on his back that he grabs. Oh. Except his back was almost completely gone. Like, the sword was clearly destroyed or damaged in some way. It's just... Uh, whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm sure, magically, it's fine, somehow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bad ending, he loses his yeah, memories. Yeah, in the bad ending, Dr. Light shows up somehow I don't know just Dr. Light shows up outside of a capsule again no idea how he can just do that now and magically erases Zero's memory memories of Zero from X and I guess from everybody else too because nobody tells him about Zero no actually they do tell no he only erases it from X because they're like they tell they tell him about Zero and he's like I have no idea who that is <laughs> Which kind of defeats the purpose of deleting X's memories if everybody else can just tell him about them. But whatever. It's a whole, like, oh, it's too painful. Yeah, I was about to say, deleting it would relieve yeah, the pain because if you can't remember him light. dying and all the stuff, yeah. then yeah. Dr. Light is, like, the most inconsistent thing in this series. Like, sometimes he's just a program that's a recording, and other times he's got, like, weird powers to, like, actually communicate as an AI, which... Uh, I don't know. It's inconsistent. I mean, it's just the Surprise, way it is. I'll just be honest, man. You think, like, 90% of the all Mega Man games are inconsistent. No, I mean, the classic series is actually, I think, better written overall. And I don't think it's great, but I think it's better written than the X series. But it's... I mean, it's a platformer. Who really gives a shit at, this, at the story? It's just a bonus, you know? But, I don't know. We talk about the game. I mean... Oh, yeah, and the bad ending, like, <laughs> a lot of the planet is destroyed. X6, like, merges the two endings. Like, X has his memories of Zero. Zero dies. Um, but, like, enough... The colony is destroyed by the space station, but enough of it survives that it damages the planet. And that's X, and that's basically the ending X6 goes by. Which is dumb, because that ending is not in this game. So, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, I don't know, I like this game, for the most part. I mean, I don't like, I think the backtracking is bad. <laughs> it's excessive. Um, not, not being able to get parts of the, of the armors immediately is stupid. But most of the stages are pretty good, other than, other than, I think, A, the Quick Man reference, which I thought was terrible even in the classic game. And the vehicle stage is bad. I was about to say, and then there's ready? another stage that's. I think the I think it's tidal wave. Yeah, the tidal whale uh, is. It's a good stage the first time you play it. It's terrible after that because it just takes so long and they make you go through it three times. But at least you don't have to go through it all the way to the end. Yeah. But other the first than that, two the parts of that good. submarine is fun to fight, but that last yeah. part sucks. And X and Zero play differently enough. They're cool, and I like. I, I think the part system is too cryptic. Um, I think you should have just gotten the parts from beating the bosses. And the time system, I think, could have been better implemented by putting an actual timer that mattered. And the ending, they should have just scrapped the whole canon, frankly, and just had had a tight timer where. You know, you had a time limit to do eight stages, and the more you did, the more successful the shuttle would be. And if you did all eight, the shuttle would be 100% successful. That's how they should have done it. And that way you'd have, you know, do you fire it, do you do it early and hope that you get the good ending? Or do you try to push it to get the, the to ensure the good ending? Instead, you can even get, you can get the bad ending, like, even Doing if you do all perfect. eight stages. It's dumb. Like, that just shouldn't be the case. But I think X5 really suffers from following X4, frankly, and Alia won't shut up. And that's another problem. Oh, good. Yeah, I only have two major problems with this game. I like this game. My two problems are, instead of choosing the parts, they should all be given to you. So that way you could choose which parts you want to equip. Yeah, they should, you should... 
or at the very least they should tell you which is going to give you which part and what they do ahead of time so you could at least make yeah, a, an informed decision and then second the tutorials it's too much. were killers you should at least be able to turn them off No, what triggers the bad ending is literal RNG. Like, uh, if basically, if both the shot, if both the Enigma Cannon and the shuttle fail, you you get the bad ending, and Zero is removed from your party, um, which is really stupid. So, and that the shuttle can still fail even if you do everything. I think it's like an eighty percent success rate or something. But there's still like a 10 or 20% chance that the game will just give you the middle finger and... No! No, you get to have the bad ending. And if you reload to go through the cutscene again, it does not change the cutscene. You have to literally replay the previous stage. So you have to save before doing the stage leading up to uh, the final part that you collect. Which is stupid. Top of which, it's annoying to like. There's a trophy attached to getting the, the Enigma Cannon to successfully hit, and it's like, good luck with that, because even if you get all four, it's a 45% chance, so it's less than a coin flip. Hey, I got it. I know you did, which pissed me off. <laughs> but, but other than that, I mean, the game still plays like Mega Man. It, it's still, still fun. I mean. I like the Falcon armor. I, I like, you know, I like the, that there's a choice between two different armors with pros and cons. You know, starting with the f and the fourth armor is cool to start with as well. I like that you can get an upgrade for zero and, an up and the ultimate armor if you go out of your way for it. And it actually makes the game a lot easier, but it's a, a reward for actually exploring. And I mean, and the soundtrack is great as well. And thank God they cut the terrible voice acting. Hey, you never know. Better been better than this one. Yeah. But we'll never know. I doubt it. Oh, and Dynamo is such a wasted character, but whatever. Oh, stop. You like Dynamo. You know it. Which is what leads to the infection. Dinoho? Yeah, I know. Can you hear me, Axel? Yeah, she does do that in X7 and X8, I think, but... Alia, only, Alia really only pisses me off in this game. <laughs> I mean, I still don't like Alia in, in the other X games. Because, frankly, she's, she's just such a wasted character. She had a lot of potential to actually be a good character, and she's not. And that's irritating to me. But, because there's just no care put into her character at all, unfortunately. And she has no arc, she has no development, she has nothing. She's just support team. And that's clearly not what they intended, considering they tried to give her character an X6. And they just, they fail at it. So, I don't know. They, they were trying to rip off Metal Gear, frankly. And... That's not going to work when your characters aren't, you know, remotely interesting or funny or likable in any way. You know? Like, the Kodak team in Metal Gear was, in Metal Gear Solid, was, they were characters. And there were a lot of optional, like, conversations that were funny. You know, the stuff that they should have implemented if they were going to rip that off. At least do it properly. But they didn't. But the game is still solid. The stages are still good for the most part, other than a few. I mean, I like, uh, you know, Axel the Red stage is good. I like the Lava stage. Um, intro stage is good. Has probably the coolest intro boss in the series. Yep. And I like, I like the escalation of the story. Like, it feels like a conclusion to this franchise, like it was supposed to. So I like that. So, you know. It's just, the problem with X5 is that the lows are really low. 
and it's, it feels it does feel a bit more sluggish compared to X4, X2, and X1, and even X3 at times, really. And now we move on to X6, which <sighs> X6 is wow. Um. It has lows, and the lows in X6 make these lows in X5 look like the best damn part of video game design ever, and that's, uh, that's a thing, so. X6 has really bad stage design. Even the stages I like have really bad design aspects of them. <laughs> camera is going to be a problem in X6, so at the very least, the camera was less of it was not much of an issue in X5, so I'll give it that. That's because the stages were designed around the limitations of vertical scrolling. There's like what two parts in this game when like there's that part where you're climbing up in one of the last stages where you can have an oh, issue. Oh no! What? Stop spamming the museum! And. about it, right? X6 yep. is all over the place with that kind of shit, and it just doesn't it doesn't work well. Uh, and I don't know why they decided to continue to do these vertical segments with, with spikes out of nowhere, and, and just... You gotta zoom the camera <laughs> out if you're gonna do that. Yes, Majinian, the museum. <sighs> Look, man, X6, here. Donuts, Majinian... And frankly, his whole stage. Um, nightmare effects like shutting off the entire lights and making it impossible to see. What you fun! Know Virginian is in the museum, right? No, Virginian's not in the museum. Virginian's in in that stupid straight line stage. Yes, I know. The guy's shooting you. The museum is the stupid bug. Scarab, I think. There is a way to cheese that stage, but not if you're going to collect things. Um. Yeah, that's at center, the weapon yeah. century. Wait, and then, I mean, there are good stages in X6. Like the laser center is a good stage, with an interesting puzzle. But for every oh, good, good stage, there's like three really bad stages, and that's the problem with X6. You know? Oh I... yeah, X6 has one of my favorite quotes from an enemy at all times, and the ground scaver says it. Does he? Bet shit. Bet shit. Bet shit. Oh yeah, that's what he sounds. Like. I don't think he's saying that, but it sounds like he's, he's definitely saying not that. saying bat shit, but he definitely sounds like it. Oh yeah, there's also Mudada. Ah, uh, this move. This move. <laughs> oh god. Hi, so Max. many good lines in so that game. So many good lines. And then there's Gates scream. You think the English voice acting is bad next four? <laughs> Yeah, X6 has terrible Japanese voice acting, and I don't even know how you manage that. Like, voice acting in Japan was taken a lot more seriously at the time, and X6 has horrible voice acting. And that's weird for a game in Japan with Japanese voice acting. Really weird. Like, it was, it was, it was a serious industry. Like, it was taken seriously as a job. It's not like X, not, not like, you know, the states in the 90s where it was just like, Hey you, come in, I want you to read these lines. But I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> you think I care? <laughs> read these lines. I'll give you 50 bucks. And there's 90s voice acting. But that's not like, that. but it wasn't like that in Japan. And yet XX, we have horrendous voice acting. Yeah, stuff happens. Well, I'm exaggerating, but 90s voice acting is really bad. With exceptions like Metal Gear Solid, you know? And it's mainly because direction was terrible. It just wasn't taken seriously in, in North America at the time. It wasn't really viewed as like a serious industry or a serious job or a career, which is bizarre, but that's what it was. Nowadays, it's taken seriously, but... Yeah, Metal Gear Solid actually had really good voice acting. Yeah, I, th I think it's... It, it's just, 
Yeah, it's probably. I totally agree with you there. It's a seven-hour game, and I think totally agree with you. Four hours of cutscene, so it's like 60, 40, oh, 65, yeah. 35, yeah, somewhere around there. And it has the most cheap boss fight ever. But you can you can skip the cutscenes. It's just like on replays. I, mean, I don't know. I like Metal Gear Solid. It hasn't aged particularly uh, well at times, but. Not really, MGS2 probably has more cutscenes, actually. MGS3... Uh, has, I haven't even is, tried playing that game all the way through by myself. I just stay on the first stage and kill people. Yeah, I know. I fight Sniper Wolf legit in that game. I love the boss fights in MGS1. And 2. And 3. And 4, frankly. And 5! <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face for that one. Our fucking Mega Man. Yeah, I don't uh, think five, 5 should really exist. Five. No, it shouldn't. Look, the gameplay is perfectly fine, but it's not a Metal Gear game. I mean, I'm still iffy about 4. I mean, I haven't really fully played 4 all the way through, but I just still can't get past the fact that Mega he's Man super too. old. Yeah, what, in 4? Yeah. Well, there's reasons for that, but yeah. I don't know. I like the Metal Gear series. I don't think I'd want to stream it, though. It'd be better for a Let's Play. Alright, final score. What would you rate this Mega Man game? Out of 10. Out of 10? Yeah, 6.5? I'd go 8. 8 out of 10 for me. About right. I mean, I'm, I'm harsher than you, so... I mean, to give the perspective, like, I would probably give X4, like, an 8, like an eight and a half or a 9. We never really gave numbers for the other ones. Well, fuck it, let's do it. What'd you give X4? X4? Because I was so garbage in X4, I'd probably give that one a... Six, seven. <laughs> oh, wow. I used to rank that very high, but I don't know what happened to my skills. Uh, I give a, I would give X4, like, I think a nine out of ten. I think it's one of the best in the series. Wait, what's coming up in two weeks? X7. Oh. Really? I think X4 is one of the best ones in the series. X3, I'd give five. No, see, I liked X3. I'd give that one a 7, too. I give X2 uh, seven and a 7.5, probably. X2 gets a 6 for me. X1 is an 8. Oh, X1 is definitely a 9 for me. It's a classic. X6 is tough. I'd probably still give it a 5 out of 10, though. Well, we can't be rating X6 that we didn't play it yet. I don't know. I'll see how much I... I have, I'll, I'll see if I can find my... You rank X8 higher than 4? Yeah, I like X8 better than 4. Yeah, I think X8 is my favorite. That probably gets 10 out of 10. Even though we didn't even play it yet. I love X8. Very few things I can complain about in that game. I mean, there's like... What, two stages with excessive spikes? I don't even think you can give X7 a rating, man. X7. They don't count backwards far enough. God, X7. Fucking hate X7. We've had enough violence! Okay, no, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, don't even get started. We'll be here for hours. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I don't know. I like these little recaps at the end of next game or whatever. It's fun just hanging yeah. out. But, anyway. Sorry, I got so <laughs> See, it's bad when an expert puts it at 3 out of 10. Yeah. Sorry I got so mad at that rank to fight. I just really hate that boss fight. It's like the only part of this game I hate. Like, genuinely hate, hate. I tolerate the, low, the, part of the, the other low stuff in the game, but I just genuinely hate that boss fight. But yet it was vice versa when we were playing a Zero. He went ballistic on the Black Devil. Yeah, because he's harder with zero. And he, zero has a much easier time with um 
that stupid ranged guy. Because you got like the spin slash. Yeah, spin slice. Yeah. I don't know. It's fun. So, tomorrow, X6. Doing an X. F oh, you guys doing an FF5 Fiesta stream, huh? That's cool. Yep, who's the worm? You watch well, it? Tell him I said good luck, too. Alright, yeah, wish him luck. Sounds good. FF5 is an awesome game. Fantastic. Yeah, I'd like to play the game one of these days, but yeah. Oh, Liz doesn't know what she's going to stream Friday, so we're still working on that. I don't know if she'll... She's still got seven, six more characters to beat. Or no, five she's more characters to beat. She's not doing any more of that game. <laughs> for six to five? Interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh you mean FF... I'm five, like, wait, so you prefer FF. X6 to X5? Like, what's wrong with you? Oh. Like, no, 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 you mean FF, FF6 now. to FF5. Yeah, I do too. But, but FF5 is a fantastic game. I have a Super Famicom card of it, actually. It's a really good game. But so is FF6. Pretty much all the Final Fantasy games are great up until, like, 12, and the quality gets kind of iffy. At least I think it kind of lessens from there, but whatever. Not that 13s are, are bad or anything, I just think they're okay. 15's okay. But FF7R is fantastic. I'd watch a Pokemon stream. What? Brox had suggested she should do some more Pokemon. Yeah, she could do that. She's got Pokemon Soul Silver, so. And we have a DS emulator, or capture card now. But whatever. We'll see. Alright, SharePlay's about to end, so that's good. Yep. Ryzen. And this is Zero. Thanks for hanging out. See you tomorrow for, well, hopefully tomorrow for um, X6. Yep. Peace out. Peace out. Later. <laughs>